Good morning, my beautiful brothers and sisters. Allow me to take a very few minutes of your valuable time and provide you with a word of encouragement from the Lord. For the Lord has spoken to me and he has told me to encourage his people. And this is what he wants me to provide to you today. And this word of encouragement is coming from the book of Isaiah, chapter 60, and in verse 1. And when you have a moment, just take out your Bible, open it up to Isaiah, chapter 60, and verse 1, and read the first three verses of this message. For God says to you this morning, Arise, you have been lying in your bed for too long. And it is time to awaken to the bright and beautiful light. It is the light of God. For God is shining his beautiful light upon you and upon me. And he wants us to awaken from our spiritual darkness. Because he says that with this coronavirus, he can understand that his children may be suffering in the darkness, but he wants you to come into his marvelous light because he wants to help you. You may be thinking about all the negative things that have been happening all around you, all around your community, the sickness and the overfilling of the hospitals, the death rate that is taking place, and the fact that it's very difficult for you to get out and go to work each and every day, very difficult for you to meet your financial obligations, very difficult for you to prepare to get your kids back into school. But God is saying to you this morning, he said, arise from your spiritual darkness and enter into his marvelous light. Let this brilliancy of the light of God shine within your heart. And when you hear me say, good morning, beautiful people, I mean that all of God's people are beautiful. And God wants you to know that. God wants you to get out of the thinking that you are not beautiful. Because God is living on the inside of you. God's Spirit is lightening you from the inside to the out. That is why he's telling you this morning to arise to his marvelous light. Rise to the brilliancy of the Lord. For he has risen upon you. And do not allow what is going on in the world today to keep you in the darkness, to allow depression to set in your mind. But rise above it and be strong, be courageous, be bold, and walk out in your faith day by day. That's why he said in this word, arise. So whatever is bothering you, whatever negative thoughts have entered into your mind, God is saying to you this morning to arise unto his marvelous light. The light will always shine in the darkness because darkness cannot contain the light. So if God's light is shining in you and he's speaking to you and telling you to arise, arise from your spiritual darkness and see the brilliance of God's marvelous light. That is God's message to you this morning in as short as it possibly can be. Remember, go to Isaiah chapter 60, verse 1 through 3, read and study those verses. And when you come down and be depressed, just think on the goodness and the mercies of God. And there's one other scripture that I want to give to you. And that is from Jeremiah 33 and 3. When God says in that beautiful passage, he says simply, call me. 
So if you're feeling down and out and depressed and feeling and lack, God says, call me. And he says, when you call me, I will show you awesome powers that you never knew you had in your mind. But I gave them to you from the very beginning of time. You don't have to call your mother, your father, your sister, your brother, your doctor, your lawyer, or your accountant. Call me and I will show you that you have power that I gave to you from the very beginning of time. This is what God wants you to do. Call him. Arise. Get out of your bed and call God. Get out of your bed and stop watching that TV and being a couch potato. Get out of your bed and rise to God's marvelous light. Be blessed, my brothers and sisters, for this is the truth of the word of God. And he says, if you know the truth, the truth will set you free. And that is what God wants all of us to do today. He wants us to be free people and we can be free from this coronavirus if we learn to obey God's teaching, be obedience, and then use our common sense to stay alive because God wants to awaken us each and every morning. Arise to God's marvelous light. Okay, my brothers and sisters, I love you and we'll see you in our next video. Thank you for watching the videos on our channel. If you would like to see more great videos of what we have to offer, just click on the subscribe button. You could find it over there or perhaps over there or even down there. Do it now. Subscribe today.